KQED logo animation, white letters on black background. Captions are available open and closed. Top right is the ASL interpreter, a deaf Southeast Asian woman. For more accessibility options, visit kqed.org slash kinetic light. Together, two women in their wheelchairs, Alice, black, and Laurel, white, fly overhead. Alice. Hi, welcome to If Cities Could Dance. We're Kinetic Light, and we've been working in the San Francisco Bay Area. Jaron, a black man, dances on the beach and Ed Roberts' campus. We're here to share some of our perspectives on disability arts and our creative process. Alice traces wires projected on a stage floor. We are disabled artists making work that nobody else would make for us. Dancing in barbed wire, Jaron turns to face Alice and Laurel who embrace inverted in their wheelchairs work that has implications for how we understand intersections of race, gender, disability, technology, design, access. As Laurel bounces, Michael, a white man, watches intently. The audience is the most important member of our troupe, and in particular other disabled people. So when we present our work, it's a two-way conversation. Jaron rises, his palsied arm rested on his chest. Kinetic light, it's a beautiful intervention. And I love that we use that word because it signals that we might be obsolete in a decade. We might not be necessary. And we shouldn't. If cities could dance. San Francisco Bay Area Disability Arts. An aerial view of a building with long ramps. We're at Z-Space and we are tucked up in the thing that people are calling bubble residences, a pandemic concept. The group enters. In the theater, technicians prep cable rigging. Tiffany Schrepferman, production stage manager. Alice, if we could go from splat and then lightly mark your flying pathway. Alice Shepard, Artistic Director, Kinetic Light. Alice practices suspended in her chair. Descending, she leans and tucks. Then as she halts, her arms jut out. Michael watches. We are working on the final creative and technical processes for Wired. The women spin in the air. On the stage floor sits a realistic theater prop of barbed wire. Wired tells the race, gender, and disability stories of barbed wire in the United States. It is a heightened, dangerous, exciting work. Jaron Herman, dancer, kinetic light. Airborne dancers stretched barbed wire elastic cord. You're dangling 20 feet in the air from a rather thin metal cable. And once you leave contact with the ground, you may have very little control. Laura Lawson, dancer, kinetic light. She and Alice break and swing like pendulums. As I fly, I am experiencing my body. The power, the lightness, this body is giving me so much joy. Alice and Laurel spin in the air, stretching the elastic prop. Berkeley, California, an aerial view. The Bay Area is where I first grew into disability culture. Inside the campus building on a 180-foot-long, six-foot-wide red spiral ramp, Alice and Laurel sail down side by side and arm in arm. The independent living movement took its roots here in the Bay. They dance under the ramp. The idea that disabled people are not medicalized bodies to be warehoused, to be closed away, that disabled people have a right to live in non-institutional spaces. They arch up. Jaron, wide stanced, sweeps an arm up. Growing up, that sense of independence was a strong through line. He bends at the waist, reaching forward. And it's still a point of pride to be from the Bay Area. To dance in a place that heralds the actors, the organizers. It feels like the past is moving through me. Historical photos of civic action on a mural wall. Every time you raise issues, accept but equal. The outrage of disabled individuals across 
country. Judy Human, a white woman. Is going to continue. It is going to be ignited. There will be more takeovers of buildings. 504 sit-in participant, news footage. In 1977, the 504 protests. The disability community moved in and occupied the federal building in San Francisco. Crowds and protest signs. What do we want? Human rights! Federal legislation which protected disabled people from discrimination. After four long years of negotiation and compromise, Jimmy Carter's administration decided to throw those regulations out. Dennis Billups, 504 sit-in participant, a black man with a cane. The more we learn about all of our disabilities inside of our own coalition, learning sign language, learning Braille, learning uh, about hidden disabilities, we will become a tighter and firmer group. A hand-painted victory sign, a crowd standing and sitting in their wheelchairs, news headlines, disabled protesters win some points from HEW, and Califano signs regulations to ban discrimination against disabled. This was the point in history that cemented the movement as a national power. Jerron juts his fist. The ramp with the wall of photos behind it, the women wheel up it. We are at home physically in a way we are in so few other places. They roll all the way down, smiling. The Ed Roberts campus in Berkeley, it's among the great ramps of the world. A ramp as a thing of beauty, not constructed as a functional object alone. In line, Alice and Laurel start back up the ramp, then release and slide downwards and twist. They face each other and hold hands in a spin. Straight backed, they send an arm upwards, slow and open their chests. They smile. Places where somebody thought about me when they were designing this, that sparks joy. From above, they dance surrounded by the curve of the ramp. Jaron joins them and slides through their joined and upstretched arms. An aerial view of San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge onto Yerba Buena Island, then settling onto the Z Space Building. In the theater, Laurel dives and sways over a mound of barbed wire and reaching arms wide, brings them into her as she turns. Access as an aesthetic, it challenges us. True artistically equitable accessibility expands the art form. She swims in dark blue light. For someone who is primarily non-visual, what does that dance sound like? When we put all of that into the work, the work gets better. Michael Mag, video projection and lighting designer, Kinetic Light. Jaron in a sparkly gold and purple bodysuit hovers on cables and pattern light. When I start working with the audio describers and they see something poetic in a movement and the way the light falls across someone's face, that informs me what I've created and often leads to changes. As she propels backwards with arms outstretched, Alice skims the floor, then flies. For us, access, it is a creative force. Alice dives to the ground and rebounds. Once you commit to imagining a disabled audience as primary and not as incidental, it changes the understanding of the work, the insiderness. It changes the resonance. Jaron, with a wide smile, twirls in midair. Grounded, he propels across the stage in turning steps and arms wrapped in wire. Being a part of Wired has stretched me entirely as a performer. Jaron moves deliberately tangled in barbed wire. The barbed wire is reminding me that I am unsafe. So I have to find relief and exuberance and comedy and joy and struggle in that. Jaron, Alice, and Laurel kneel on stage, costumed in black and wrapped in wire. Then, similar choreography continues on the beach. They kneel with the bay at their backs. They bow to the ground. 
passers-by look on. Jaron looks up, then sweeps an arm up. He bends at the waist, reaching forward. Alice smiles and with eyes shut traces an overhead circle with straight arms. She locks arms with Jaron and all three arch back with a craned neck and eyes open. The red top of the Golden Gate suspension bridge pokes through the clouds which partly obscure its vertical cables. The theater marquee of Z Space changes to the stage where Alice and Laurel lift off in tandem flight. We had been deeply careful to think through how our bodies in chairs, without chairs, for Jaron, fly. Not to use the air as an escape, but to really dig in to the air as places to find queerness, disability, and race. In slow motion, they all spiral. Alice and Laurel hold hands midair, and Jaron drifts upside down, tracing a white spiral which is projected on the stage. The women in their chairs drift in circles, their arms grazing the ground as the light dims to darkness. Thanks for coming along on this journey with us today, and we really hope you've enjoyed this little peek into our process and our work in progress, Wired. Everyone, please remember, stay safe out there. Credits, Kinetic Light, Artists, Jaron Herman, Laurel Lawson, Michael Mag, Alice Shepard, Wired Production Team, Will Knapp, Tiffany Schrepferman, Jordan Wiggins, Katherine Nelson, Latanya Brown, Wired Design, Conception and Direction, Alice Shepard, Choreographed in Collaboration, Jaron Herman, Laurel Lawson, Alice Shepard, Lighting, Video, Projection and Scenic Design, Michael Mag, Original Music Composition, Leanne Mitchell, Ailish Nirien, Costume and Makeup Design, Laurel Lawson, Scenic and Prop Design, Josephine Shokrian. Additional credits follow. For full credits, visit kqed.org slash kinetic light. Funding for this program is provided by National Endowment for the Arts, the William and Flora Hewlett Foundation, the Andrew Mellon Foundation, and the Osher Production Fund. Support is also provided by the members of KQED, a production of KQED Arts, copyright 2021, KQED Incorporated.